Lionel Messi, folks. He's a football legend. But all that glory comes with a side of haters. Even his own teammates aren't safe from the Messi hate train. Back in 2010, Messi was like a human firecracker, scoring goals left and right. But then his coach, Pepe Guardiola, thought, hey, this little genius can't do it all by himself. You see, Messi was getting tackled more often than a piñata at a birthday party. So, Pep had an idea. He brought in Zlatan Ibrahimovic, this tall Swedish giant who was like a cheat code on a video game. But on the actual field? Well, let's just say Zlatan felt like a fish out of water. He said, Messi's messing with my mojo. He wants my spot. Zlatan wasn't too thrilled about being Messi's shadow. Zlatan got so fed up that he spilled the beans to the whole world. He accused his teammates of treating Messi like the chosen one, and he was left twiddling his thumbs. That's when Pep knew he had to choose sides. And soon enough, Zlatan was Milan bound. Now, Messi and Zlatan don't exactly exchange Christmas cards. I mean, have you seen Zlatan? He's in his 40s and looks like he could bench press a truck. Messi's got skills, but he's got some folks who wouldn't mind taking a shot at him, both on and off the field. After Zlatan's exit, we thought Messi's teammate troubles were gone for good. But 11 years later, he found himself wrestling with something even bigger. In 2021, Barca was in a financial pickle, which meant for a hot minute, Messi was like a free bird. It was bonkers, mate. Teams from all over the globe were begging for his John Hancock. But PSG, those sneaky devils, didn't dilly-dally. Before anyone else could even order a pen, they shouted, we got Messi, and made it official. So, Messi found himself in a new club with new digs and a new nemesis too. Over at PSG, Messi became the poster boy for everything. From their matchday getaway cars to their serial ads, his face was everywhere and it didn't sit too well with one of his teammates. Before Messi's grand entrance, Kylian Mbappe was the kingpin of PSG and the club practically treated him like a royal. I mean, there was more buttering up in that locker room than at a French bakery. But then Messi strolled in and Kylian wasn't the shiny star anymore. He wasn't thrilled, but he tried to keep a lid on it until one fateful day. In a league match against Montpellier, Mbappe made a run, but Messi didn't pass the ball his way. The lad went ballistic, mate. Instead of a friendly chat after the game, he did the unimaginable and gave Messi a shove. It was a social media explosion. And even though Mbappe tried to downplay it, the gig was up. The whole world knew the score. Mbappe's got a serious beef with Messi. But the drama doesn't stop at club level. Even when representing the national team, it's like a soap opera on steroids. Before the 2018 World Cup, Argentina's coach was in a real pickle. He had a buffet of attacking options, but one name stood out like a sore thumb. Everyone figured this lad, Maro Icardi, was a shoo-in. He was scoring goals for fun at Inter Milan, but when the squad announcement came, brace yourself for a shocker, Icardi didn't make the cut. He was gutted and pointed fingers at one man. Messi's crew didn't pick me because I ain't in their gang. Leo and I were not exactly besties, and that's why my name got flushed down the toilet. Now, that's a statement with a capital S. Icardi later did a 180 and claimed he and Messi are on chummy terms. But when you've only played six times for your national squad in over half a decade, something's fishy. Elsewhere, Messi's been on a striker-hating spree for ages, mate. The 2022 World Cup quarterfinal was like a scene from a wrestling ring. Argentina went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Netherlands in one of the craziest World Cup matches ever. The score ended 2-2 and Argentina won on penalties, but the match was like a Hollywood blockbuster. In extra time, Messi had a face-off with the entire Netherlands squad and the atmosphere was hotter than a chilli pepper. 
They were heading to the locker rooms after the game when all heck broke loose. A Dutch player, Wout Verhorst, just wanted Messi's jersey. Seemed like a reasonable ask, right? But as he approached Messi, he stumbled into the Bermuda Triangle of foot-in-mouth moments. Messi gave him a tongue lashing. Now, here's a fella who's dead set on taking Messi down a peg or two. Messi's time at Barca was something else. I tell you, it was pure madness. Coaches were pulling double shifts just to figure out how to neutralize him. In El Clasico, when it was Real Madrid versus Barcelona, the Real Madrid lads knew they had to be on their A game if Leo was in the mix. But then there was Pepe, who took things to a whole new level. The stuff he did to Messi was like a scene from a rough and tumble bar fight. We're talking knee jabs, finger stomps, and even some nasty trash talking, all because Messi was tearing it up on the field. It's messed up, right? But Pepe is only one half of this wild story. The other half is Messi's living nightmare. In 2021, when Messi and Ramos became teammates at PSG, it was like a football version of a reality TV show. The reason? Ramos flat out couldn't stand Messi. Back in the day, their rivalry was like something out of a movie. Ramos went out of his way to give Messi a tough time on the pitch. He'd do whatever it took to ruffle Messi's feathers. He even got under Leo's skin so much that he ended up insulting his mum. Ramos used to be the ultimate Real Madrid warrior and his main job was stopping Messi. Now, if we're talking about Messi's biggest rival, it's none other than the king himself, Pelé. This guy was the original heavyweight champion of football, scoring over a thousand goals in his career. Talk about a human goal machine. Plus, he's the only player to snatch the World Cup trophy three times. So when Pele talks, you better believe everyone's ears are perked up. On his 71st birthday, the media gang swung by Pele's place for a chat. You'd think he'd be all smiles and singing Messi's praises, right? But what unfolded next left the room and quite frankly, the whole wide world flabbergasted. It was like a head-on collision of football egos with Messi. But we warn you not to hate us, unlike these players hating Messi. So if you don't hate us, subscribe to the channel for more updates.